The Bible says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. This is Romans' description of what it means to be saved. Salvation. It is a very important aspect in the life of a Christian. Without salvation, you're not a Christian. The Bible is very clear on the teaching of salvation and how one gets to heaven. If you are to make it to heaven, you have to go through Jesus. There is no other way unto God whereby men shall be saved but by the name of Jesus Christ. Now, here's the interesting conundrum. Some people don't want salvation. Some people don't seek it. Some people don't want to have it. So therefore, how do we teach salvation? Now, I'm going to give you a little example of what salvation means. Maybe you'll accept it. Maybe you won't. Either way, it's an example nonetheless. Now, Romans says that in order to be saved, you have to accept Jesus Christ and confess Him with your heart and believe in Him that He was risen from the dead. Now, here's where it gets interesting. When Jesus died on the cross, He provided salvation unto God. Salvation is a way of saying being saved and or redeemed from some type of punishment. Jesus basically gives us a, a, a salvational ark. He gives us a covering that protects us from those things that are uh, will befall us if we were not saved. So let's just say, for example, so let's imagine, if you will, that this represents salvation. Okay? Now, this is the salvation that Jesus provides. Now, Salvation isn't going to mean anything if you don't believe in Jesus. Bottom line, when we're trying to get someone to be saved, to receive salvation, we have to get them to believe in Jesus. Now, we can't expect a person to accept salvation if they don't believe in the one providing the salvation. So our teaching should go along the lines of telling people about Jesus. And as a byproduct of receiving Jesus, accepting Jesus, you've just received salvation. So here's what it does. Let's imagine, if you will, that this bowl, glass bowl, is the bubble, if you will, of salvation. And the only way to get into this bubble is by accepting Jesus. Now, I've got Uniqua here. I think that's her name. And she wants salvation. Now, right now, in the Christian terminology, she is outside of salvation, which means she is sinful, which means she is not saved. Now, in order for her to get inside of salvation, there's only one way in, and that is to verbally express that she believes Jesus died for her sins and that he will come back to receive her. And that... He, that the only way inside is that she believes that Jesus died for her sins and that she confesses it with her mouth and believes it in her heart. Once she does that, then the ark of salvation opens up. The ark of salvation, it's a little slippery, opens up and then she can go inside. Okay, now, Unique was inside the Ark of Salvation. She is saved. She's accepted the blood of Jesus Christ. And now she finds herself covered by salvation. Now, her friend, I don't know where Pablo is, so I'm going to use the Lego man. Her friend is outside of salvation. And he wants to hang with Unique and talk with Unique, but he can't get in to where she is because. He's not saved. So Uniqua tells him from the inside of salvation what he must do to get in here because she did it. So she's going to say, hey buddy, this is what I did. I confessed with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believed in my heart that he uh, uh, died for my sins and was raised from the dead. And he says that and believes it and guess what? The ark of salvation opens 
for him as well. Now, that's how salvation works. So, we get people constantly come and they want salvation. So they confess. And the salvational arc opens and they go in. But, there are some people who just can't accept Jesus Christ. They don't believe him. They don't believe that he exists. They don't even believe that he is real. And those that even would say that he's real refuse to believe the fact that he was the Son of God. So they refuse to go inside of this salvational ark. Right? So what do we do for them? Do we tell them that their damnation is there for not believing? Or do we try to show them a way of believing in the one that provides the salvational ark? Salvation is just that. It is a covering for the things that you've been through. It is a covering making you free from your sins. Now there are those that will say this is restrictive. It does not allow me to go where I want to go or do what I want to do. It is confining. But what we've learned, those of us who are saved, is that you are truly saved and set free once you're in the Salvational Ark. This has been Pastor Javid teaching about salvation. God bless you guys. See you next week.